Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to see how to build this beautiful dashboard that has a pie chart, a line chart, connected to a single value dropdown or a multi value dropdown with Plotly and Dash. Now, this uh, dashboard is going to use uh, this artificial intelligence uh, data set that talks about um, publications of AI systems in different industries across time. This project is part of a monthly project that I release on the Charming Data platform to help you learn digital data visualization, data apps, and AI large language models. We work on these projects together as a community. We meet on the weekends with the goal of increasing and developing our knowledge and skill set in the AI and data visualization fields. So join me by clicking the link above or putting charming-data.com into your browser. It's completely free and open platform. All right, so to follow along and, and, and do this together, I recommend going into the GitHub. It's going to be under uh, the video. Go into the link and download this uh, file, app.py. It's going to be a lot easier for you to follow the video and do this with me. Um, once you have this file downloaded, make sure to install pip install dash. Make sure to install pandas and dash bootstrap components. Once you have that, all you have to do is click the run button and you should have this app up and running. All right, so let's see what we're doing here. First, we're importing the libraries. Then we're going to read this data set as a panda data frame. This is our CSV sheet. We have really just three columns, the annual number of AI systems, this is the value, the year, and then the entity, the industry, biology, language, vision, and so on and so on. So I'm going to um, clean the data set just by removing any rows that have non-specified. There are certain rows here under entity or industry that says non-specified. I don't want them. It's like other. I just want to have industries that have a name to it. Now I incorporate dash bootstrap. So we have the dash bootstrap theme and it looks cool. I will start my layout and here's where I, inside the container, here's where I build my app. Everything you see inside the container is actually the app itself. It's going to be displayed on your screen. So this is a markdown where you have a title and we have a subtitle, right? Header five, here it is, a title and a subtitle. Then. Uh, we have our row, and everything is going to go into one row. The f and within that row, we'll have two cards. One card and two card. Dash bootstrap component card. In the first card, we're going to put our empty graph. And under the empty graph, we'll put this dropdown. And the dropdown will have, as the option, it will have the unique values in the year column. So if you go to the year column, 1950, 52, it's going to have the unique years so they don't repeat each other. And that's why you see here the unique years of the drop down of the data set. Then in the second card, let's close this. The second card on line 31, we have another empty graph. And underneath a uh, drop down that's going to have unique entities sorted alphabetically, as you can see here entities, industries. And then um, we'll also have multi-true. So we can choose multiple values inside a list. All right, so now that we have our two cards and our layout already set and ready, now we have to connect the, um, the graphs to our dropdowns so um, they can interact with each other. So if somebody chooses a different year, it will filter the data frame, and then we will create the pie chart. So that's what we use the callback for. First callback is for the pie chart, and the second callback is for the the the, the um, line chart. So let's see two screens here, so it's easier. As you can see here, up oh, looks a little bit squished, but doesn't matter. I want to show you the code. We see here input and output. So we're going to take the value property of my year select. Year select was a drop down, was the idea of the drop down right here. So we're going to take the value 2020 or 22, whatever we choose. And using that value, we're going to change the, the, the year into an integer because it's initially a string inside the, the data set. We'll make it an integer. And then we'll use that year to filter the data frame on the year column. Take the year column, and we're only going to take that year chosen. So 
if we chose for example 2000 I don't know 15 1952 we're only going to take rows that have 1952 in them and they repeat it they repeat themselves for every industry so several times now that we have our data frame filtered now we can build our pie chart we build our pie chart in Plotly using the data frame the name column, the name uh, property, and the values property. The name will be the industry, and the values will be the, the last column, the annual annual number of AI system domain, and, and that's it. And now we have our pie chart. And to display the pie chart onto the page, we have to return it to the figure property of this graph. This domain graph is right here, domain graph, and we have to return it to the figure property equals and this is where it's going to be returned fig but we don't have to um, declare it because um, it's empty at the beginning only after we activate the callback with the drop down we're going to return that new pie chart same very very similar for the line chart we'll take the value of the second drop down this is the multi drop down we'll take the value initially this to multi-model and model and language. We'll take this list of two values or three or four, depending on how many values we want to choose in the in the dropdown. And we're going to say uh, filter the data frame so the entity column, the industries, only has those rows with those um, industries chosen in the dropdown. And initially Regardless of what industry is chosen, I want to filter the years because I don't want to see 1950, 1960. I only want to see the years after, nine, um, after 1999, so 2000 and onwards. I don't care about the years before 2000. I was too young. <laughs> All right, and then we'll build the line chart. So we add a data frame, and we'll add the x-axis, the year. The y-axis will be the annual number, the value. And uh, the color will be entity because I want to see the different industries. Every line will have a different color. And then we return the line graph to the figure property of the DCC graph right here. DCC graph, it'll be figure equals line graph, right? So that's exactly what's happening uh, through the callback. So every time we choose a different um, dropdown, it's going to um, filter the data frame and recreate replot the line graph and display the line graph inside our layout so that's it i hope you enjoyed i hope it was uh an easy um uh tutorial on how to use uh, the pie chart and the line chart with plotly combined with a dash uh, drop down component uh, again if you want to learn more join uh, the charming data platform where i'll make videos announcements and we can work on projects together within the data visualization and AI large language model industry. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh, always remember we're better together, so help each other out. Bye-bye.